male reproductive system. The main parts are a pair of testes. and epididymis vas differentia vas differentia prostate gland and we have uh, penis these are the important structures there prostate gland penis these are the important structure and uh, the main function of the male reproductive system it is by the testis other things are all accessory it helps in transportation this vas differentia helps in again transportation Epididymis stores the sperm and prostate gland it produces semen and penis it helps in ejaculation of semen. So, here the primary function it is their testis. The testis there is a pair of testis which will be ovoid or oval shaped structure and this structure it is covered by a sac like structure which is called a scrotum. So, center a testis it will be there, it is covered by scrotum. Scrotum is the sac like structure which protects the testis and it also maintains temperature because the production of sperms within the seminiferous tubules it requires less temperature than body. So, that temperature it is by maintained by the scrotum. And other function, the main functions are testis is production of sperms. That is right from puberty, the production of sperms is under the control of testis. Apart from the production of the hormone, the male hormone, which is testosterone. Male hormone testosterone. So, this is the primary function of this, primary function of the testis. So, next we learn about the structure. Structure, the typical structure of a male reproductive system, as I mentioned, it consists of the testis. Testis, as it is the ovoidal structure, and it has a scrotum here. The scrotum is the one which protects the testis. So, a pair of testis, it will be on both the side of the lower abdominal region and this is the one which produces the sperms as well as the hormones. There are two types of cells are there, serotonin cells and Leydig cells are there in the testis. So, they produces sperms as well as hormones and above the testis, you can see the epididymis. epididymis so, this is the epididymis. So, this structure it is to store the sperms. Continuously, what will happen? The seminiferous tubules it produces lot of sperms. So, those sperms are temporarily stored in the epididymis. That is the function of epididymis. And you can see that the epididymis extends and forms the tube, which is called as the vas deferens or vas deferentia. So, what is the function of this vas differentia? Testis produces the sperms which will be stored temporarily in the epididymis and the transportation of sperms from the epididymis to the penis that is done by the vas deferens. So, now they collect the sperms from the epididymis and the transportation takes place to vas differentia. When it comes here, there are seminal vesicle is there and prostate gland is there. So, these two glands they are called as accessory glands. These glands it produces a nutritive material for the sperms and even in the testis itself the nutritive fluid is present. The nutritive fluid 
it is called as semen it is called as semen so what is this semen it is nothing but the sperms because sperms are cells these cells requires energy or nutrient the semen or the sperms along with nutritive fluid is called as semen so this is partially produced in the testis itself and in between the testis and the epididymis there is something called reed testis reed testis that testis only mixes the nutrient and makes the sperm as well as the fluid sticky it just it makes them sticky and this fluids produced from seminal vesicle and prostate vesicle it provides nutrition to the sperms and also it helps in lubrication of the sperm because the sperm it has to move into the female reproductive tract It's that moment it requires lot of lubrication so that is provided by the semen so one one drop of semen it contains millions of sperms one drop of semen it contains millions of sperms plus nutritive fluid so that is about uh, the main reproductive structure so we learned about the functions of testis functions of epididymis functions of vas deferentia prostate gland and seminal vesicle as well as now we are going to learn about the penis the penis it is a common opening for both urine as well as the release of sperms and this is the major copulatory organ copulatory organ with the help of that only the sperms are released into the female reproductive tract the opening the tip it is called as the urethra and it will be like made up of spongy structures spongy structures and through which the sperms are released into the female reproductive tract this is about the male reproductive system